All right, great. So I think now Max is going to give us a bit of a demo so you can see how this works in real time. Great. So I'll sit down and then we'll be uh, looking at the screen um, of Livestream Studio. So uh, if you look here, uh, this is my screen. You actually will see that I'm not lip synced because we're converting uh, the screen capture. Obviously, Livestream Studio is 100% uh, uh, frame accurate and uh, audio synchronized. So here I'm in the Windows desktop and I brought the task manager. And you can see we have CPU 0 to CPU 15, that's 16 CPU based on 8 core. The HD edition is 6 cores and 12 CPU, so a significant uh, improvement uh, with the new i7 CPU uh, right there. So the first demo I'm actually running, I'll show you the project. Uh, so this is Livestream Studio, my preview, my program. I can switch the input. Uh, I can stream to Livestream and other provider uh, right from here. Uh, I can record and so on. So uh, that's the basic functionality of Livestream Studio, also graphics. So in this version of the demo I'm running in 4K, you can see we have 4K 29 and 7, all the way down to 4K 24. And you'll also notice that we can run uh, in HD now at 1080p uh, 60, which uh, is a new mode as part of the 4K edition. It was not supported in our, it's not supported in our HD edition, only 1080p 30. So we're running right now in, in um, in 4K mode, as you can see. And we have two inputs which are coming in HDMI. And we can check, you can see the converter is off. So these cameras are outputting uh, at this format 2160p, 29 and 7. And they're inputting uh, live right here. So I can basically just do cut and stream. I can also record, and it's recording at 250 megabits, um, basically whatever I edit into our media bin. And I can scrub, obviously, as well in 4K and uh, even play back uh, that video in the program that I just recorded um, right, uh, right there. So this is if you want to do a 4K workflow. You get your camera in 4K, you input them. Actually, if you have non-4K camera, we can convert them up to 4K, but it's not great in terms of uh, quality. The second demo is I'm going to switch to actually um, 720p 30, which is an, uh, you know, an ideal project format if you're doing streaming uh, to live stream. And what's going to happen now, the software is going to reset. And you'll see the two cameras have now this little icon. The converter is on. So the input is still 4K, but we're converting it down to 720p um, 30. And as a result, I can now use this uh, great feature, uh, which, uh, which is available in the input settings, Cam 2. Uh, which is the virtual uh, camera editing. So just like Mevo, if you're familiar with, uh, with Mevo, where we're doing 4K cropping using an iPhone app, we've taken a lot of the knowledge and, and, and IP, and we started to move it into studio, so that if you have a 4K camera and you're streaming in HD, you can use all these extra pixel to do crops without losing uh, quality. So if I bring this camera here, you can see right now we're on shot one, which is this uh, full shot. And I can create in shot two, for example, a close-up of my face, shot three, a close-up of my hand, and shot four, you know, just looking at the keyboard. Now, once I've done that, I can choose to do cut or transition and speed. And I can also limit to 720p, so I'm not zooming beyond uh, the resolution available. So now if I press take, you'll see that we are basically cutting between my hand, um, the keyboard, my hand, the, uh, the wide shot or my close-up using the same single camera. So I've turned this camera into four different cameras. And I can also not only do cuts, which are very useful, but I can do transitions. So if I want to do a slow, long transition to wide, I switch this here and I can go take. And now it's going to the wide shot and I can show you uh, going back to the close-up, dampening, moving down. Um, and so on. So this can be very useful to use this feature with a single 4K camera, and then still your other cameras can be Mevo's or they can be traditional uh, HD uh, camera. And I just want to know, this is great for producers on a budget because it essentially allows you to fake a three-camera shoot with one camera and one camera operator. Mm -hmm. Correct. And you can do it with studio, add graphic, and so on. And this is essentially uh, what Mevo does, but you can do it with any camera you can purchase. Um, you know, not just the Mevo camera. Great. Thanks so much, Max. Pleasure.